Oh yeah, make that didgeridoo. Gotta didgeridoo it. Anyway, what's up guys? Welcome back for the next episode of Stranded Alien Dawn. We're back. We've one one insufficient material? Are you are you kidding me? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Get it figured out. Get the trees and stuff. We got 540 It's to 800. 800 wood. That should be well more than enough to get this done. So, production building. What are we going to put in here? We're going to put research in here. We're going to put all of our crafting tables in here. The kitchen can stay in here. Um, let's see. Research table is going to go over there. Uh, we might move some of this other stuff in here, like the, the actual recreation stuff. We might move that in there. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Uh, I'm going to need to do the windows still. All that. Yeah. Nearly putting down the carpeting first before you actually get the foundation set up. That's interesting. Uh, right, we're going to need more stone too, I think. So let's mine all that. Let's see. We got some more over here. Set that up for mining. That'll probably be enough. I mean, I, we have enough right now, as is. Uh, but we're, we are going to need more. So, yeah. Down to five aggressive insects. I'm thinking... We're gonna... Probably run into some issues. When it comes to getting some of these butchered corpses. Yeah, some of them already pretty much gone bad. You guys are making weird smoke. <laughs> okay. Eventually we're going to get attacked. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get everybody. Get them all set up. Draft everybody. Let's uh, <clears throat> see here. Uh, it's going to be X to interact. No, triangle to interact. There we go. Okay, then you come in here. Pretty sure a lot of these. Uh, enemies are also just like going to bleed out before it even really matters, but it's okay. I mostly just want to test this. Because, yeah, we haven't had a chance to actually test out our defenses yet. Silly as it is. Okay, here they come. Hopefully these insects don't run into an issue of like seeing us properly because I also don't know if the fortifications will stop them from properly pathing to us as opposed to the fences, you know? Get out of my thing. Looks okay. I didn't check to see whether or not the uh... Okay. Yeah, I also didn't check to see if their radius went up for attacks. Seems to be working alright, though. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that worked flawlessly. Um, good. I, I think that it's the case that they, they definitely have higher radius here. We can just test this relatively easily. Everybody, come over here. Let's see. Uh, no, no, they stayed the same. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Let's set these up for butchering. You can also get set up for butchering. And where did you go? Butcher. You didn't hurt. No, you did hurt our things, but it's okay. Rain! It's okay. That's okay. 
Oh, I was like, what the hell is that sound? It's the hand pan. It's very, it's very nice, Evelyn. Would you play the didgeridoo instead? I'd rather listen to a didgeridoo. Says the guy who set up the construction of the hand pan. Okay, I, it's not that I don't like hand pans. It's just that, like, between a hand pan and a didgeridoo, I want to hear the didgeridoo. I wonder if I should move these indoors. You know, so other people can appreciate the people didgeridooing it. Ken's just out here fucking soaking wet. Just, yep. It's a living! <laughs> uh, you know, the, uh, the animals, the dinosaurs from, uh, you know, Flintstones. Every time they end up asking some random animal, like, hey, how do you like being, like, you know, a living toilet? Then they go, eh, it's a living. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? Don't worry about it, guys. It's okay. What is this thing? Oh, unfinished veggie leather. Why? Why? Why is there just unfinished veggie leather? Why didn't someone finish that? God damn it, Kana! <laughs> Why didn't you finish it? Yeah, whatever. Move that hand pan. Move that didgeridoo. I don't know what idiot decided to put this outside. Poor didgeridoo. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe we have too many options for food. Maybe our survivors are just sitting here like... Hmm. That's a lot. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Still waiting on diesel generators. <sighs> Where are we gonna do our diesel generators, guys? Where are we gonna put it? The other thing is, is like we still need energy storage, but we still need to get electronics, which means we need to get diesel generators so that way we can do a soldering bench and actually blah 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 blah. You guys understand. You guys know how this works. Where should I put this? Where can I put this? I don't have a lot of room here. Put it here, I guess. For now. But we're going to end up moving all this stuff anyway. Maybe it would be a good idea to set up, like, the electricity generation over here. Like, maybe in front of this. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Because we'll have a lot of electricity going through here. Uh, and then we'll figure out where, like, all the power poles and stuff are going to go. After the fact. I was kind of thinking about setting up the power poles already, but, uh... Yeah, it doesn't seem necessary right now. <clears throat> I wonder if, like, where I have this is just, like, super not optimal. It just doesn't seem like it's heating up very much, you know? Maybe that's just me. What's up, Ken? What are you doing? Hanging out. I I don't like that you're making that noise. Discuss their good mill with Emmeline. Yeah, I think all the all the bugs are getting into this room from all the rotting food. Maybe it would be a good idea to uh <clears throat> move some of that stuff around. I don't know. It is what it is. 
Also, I don't think wall torches do that much to heating rooms. Because, uh, yeah. We have a decent number of wall torches in here, and I don't think they're helping that much. I mean, I suppose that's a good thing. Not very realistic, but I suppose it's a good thing. <sighs> I mean, if we were talking realism, it would also be an issue of, like, carbon monoxide filling up this entire room and killing us in our sleep. But, uh, yeah. Good, good. This carpet is gonna look so funky. <laughs> I dig it. We must have just had enough for that, too. It's kind of funny. Speaking of, we should probably set up some more of these for harvesting, but I think they're all, like, no good for harvesting right now. Yeah, there's only a couple that are even harvestable. At least they change color so you can tell which ones are roughly are harvestable and which ones aren't. That's always nice. A few over here. We don't need a lot of this stuff, but a little bit. A little bit will help. Okay, so these do actually regenerate their HP. Somewhat too cold for sewing. Yeah, that makes sense. Lost harvest. Ah! So, it did actually get too cold to harvest. Understood. Poor crystal with bland small talk. So, this, uh, this carpet over here, it's, uh, it's not like the carpet we saw back at the colonies, is it? No, no, it's... It's certainly not. It's kind of, uh... Leathery. Yeah. But it's not leather carpet. No, it's not leather carpet. Oh, okay. So you're just gonna go, uh... Gonna go, gonna go over there and cut... Some, okay, bye! Bye! <laughs> I'm great at having just, like... Boring conversations. You want a boring conversation off? I'll do it. Emmeline, thank you for harvesting that while we still have the chance. Okay, just waiting on construction for that. Let's speed things up a little bit. Oh, play in the handpan! Why don't you play the didgeridoo instead? I don't know what a handpan sounds like. Don't worry about it. I mean, apparently that's what a handpan sounds like. Kana's over here listening to the excellent music, quite frankly, while eating their tasty meal. Ken's like, give me that goddamn fruitcake! <laughs> he just runs in the building. I get it, Ken. Ken was, like, in here, like... He saw Ken, like, he saw Kana, like, go get some food, and Ken's like, oh, hell no. She's going to eat that fruitcake before I have a chance to eat that fruitcake. I don't think so. So he came in here with the quickness. Ate that. <laughs> Seemed almost spiteful. He came in there with like a mission. I'm going to eat that fruitcake. <laughs> oh. These are the kind of stories that you make fun of. You know, while you're playing these types of games. Because it's not like your survivors are telling you these things. This carpet looks dumb, <laughs> but whatever. Oh, now Emmeline gets the to eat the fruit cake. Everybody's just fighting over the fruit cakes. That's okay. You guys fight over those fruit cakes. I don't care.
Maybe we should just set up fruitcakes for production, and that's it. <laughs> Everybody seems the most happy with eating fruitcakes. What do we even have that set up as? Yeah. It's funny. It's like the second that that the fruitcake gets made. Maybe maybe it's the, no, it's not the fruitcake. It's the buttermelon pies that that are that are getting produced. Okay, never mind. It's not the fruitcake. It's a pie, not a cake. But maybe uh I don't know. Maybe that's just because that's all we have the, the resources for, but they're definitely not eating, like, the stews and the soups and stuff that we have set up. Which, I'm not salty about it or anything. A little bit, but... <laughs> whatever. Okay, you, you know what? Whatever. Don't, don't judge me, okay? They're the survivors. If they want to eat pies all day, then whatever, okay? That's their prerogative, I suppose. Eat your stupid pies. Jerks. Ah, <laughs> uh, still hasn't been sewed completely. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, music night. You have music instruments. You have music. Music is everything. Okay. Dance and gather. Great idea. We're having a celebration. In 14 hours. Didgeridoo and handpan. Maybe someone will finally play the didgeridoo. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think anybody's played it yet. I'm not salty about that. Okay. What's going on here? Did the carpet just not like... Must have messed up on placing it. Must have. Now it says we have inf insufficient materials. Well, I doubt that... Yeah. We're not going to be able to harvest any of this. So. Okay. Oh, hey, look. We even have the carpet out here. It's kind of funny. I like how it's like, you have stuff that's going to rot. Good thing we have hundreds of others. For now. I know, I know. We'll get it going eventually. What? You, <laughs> you're shooting the freaking... The wall! Kana! Okay. Oh, oh, shirts are about to go bad. It's okay, I guess. set up right now. Boots. Coats are after that. Okay. Well, we're gonna need fuel for when the diesel gets taken care of. I know that. Speaking of which, you haven't done that. What are you doing, Krista? Handling furnace? Now you're researching. Okay, good. It's almost time for research, guys. Or not research, sorry. It's almost time for the party.
music night! <laughs> Ken's like, yeah, music night! <laughs> Hell yeah, music night! Go, oh, Emmeline, it's music night! Come on! Yep. Tending music. Did we do? Let's go! <laughs> I love didgeridoos. They're so cool. Music night! Emmeline, where the heck are you? Get over here. It's music night! Hell yeah. Music night. Look at Krista just... Dancing the goddamn night away. Emmeline's just stoically standing. Come on. Let loose. It's music night. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah! <laughs> what do you mean talked about the recent celebrate? You're currently celebrating, Kana. This is exactly what I wanted this to be. This is the culmination of everything. Shared a childhood memory. Okay, I guess music night's over. That's cool, guys. Good music night, everybody. Way to go, team. You music the night away. Although, let's be real here. That didn't take that long for us, but Ken was on that didgeridoo for like a solid... Four hours. <laughs> okay, no breaks. He was on that thing for like four or five hours. Literally until he dropped. Oh, hey. Maybe we'll actually get some usage out of our lightning rod. It's too bad it's not connected to any type of power source, but still, it would be cool to see it finally get struck by lightning. It only took ten episodes. sleep. Ken, what are you doing? We What are you doing in here, Ken? The hell? Did the did the thunder scare you? Oh, never mind. I guess it's done. Freaking thunderstorm. He didn't even hit our damn lightning rod. <clears throat> Ken, you're weird. <laughs> Why did you just Why? So strange. Played a funny prank on Ken. What? Ken was the one that woke you up. So strange. Okay, diesel generator is going to be done right quick and in a hurry. Our room is finally a room. Very cool. It is minus three degrees in here. Okay. It's fine, I guess. Right. Let's move some stuff around here. We're gonna set this up here, I think. Sure. really hope these retain their, uh, you know, their bills that they had set up. That would suck if they didn't. Okay, research bench. Let's move that too. Let's go ahead and just put this right here, I guess. That's fine. Uh, this... can we move this in here? 
Yeah, we can. Good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put this in here. Pretty sure the furnace won't go in here, but let's check. Right. Oof. Yeah, cannot be placed in a room. So we'll leave that there. Um, actually, no. We'll move it. We'll move it. We'll move it over here. Let's just put it right there. Get some more direct access to the uh, stockpiles as well. What else do we want to move? I'll leave the lightning rod here. Um, we can leave that there. Wardrobe's fine. Kitchen's fine. Okay. Do we have a better table or anything that we want to do? No, it's already a large table. Okay. Can we set up chairs by these workbenches? No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, leisure in here, maybe? Might be a good idea. Another dartboard, punching pole, shooting target. I don't know, do we want to have leisure in here? Maybe not. Maybe not. We could do drying racks in here. These go indoors? These can go indoors. Let's do a large drying rack. Uh, I'm not going to do it indoors, though. Let's, uh... Let's put it over here. Why not? There we go. We'll move this one too. Move this. Let's just put this right here. Maybe a maybe another one? Eh, that's fine. Statues. We can leave the statues. Alright. Go! Move things and stuff. Construct things. It's chilly, apparently. Which means we should probably have the tailoring get prioritized now. Now that it's actually getting, like, really cold. Below freezing and whatnot. Okay, now, did all the bills stay? Yes. Good. Well, now we got all this room for activities. <laughs> Alright, we should set up some actual heat generation, though. In here. Let's put a fireplace in here. That'll be cool. Well, actually, it'll technically be... Hot, but shut up. Okay. Whoa, hungry pests. What? Interesting. S small starving mantis. Okay, I guess we could draft everybody and deal with that. Let's have everything get done first, though. I mean, there's not a lot for you guys to eat. We don't have any food out here, I don't think. Yeah. We've, we've got, like, some crops, but not much. Everything else is stored. Sorry. Actually, colder in here than it is outside. Oh, the furnace does increase heat. Just in its direct proximity. Interesting. I wonder if, like, we had a window near it, if it would heat up indoors. 
Because I think it is kind of transmitting. It's kind of hard to tell, actually. I mean, now it doesn't matter, but... Yeah, I mean, in the storage right here, it's seven. Even if the, even though it's under roof. I don't know, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, man. What are you guys doing? Chirping around over here. Small. Small. Certainly look a little bit bigger. I don't know. I think fighting a giant praying mantis, though, would be scary. You know? Of all the insects that I wouldn't want to fight a giant version of, they're, they're up there. They are up there. Nice. Good. Okay, so now that we have a diesel generator, let's see. I think we could just kind of put it, like, here. That'll be fine. Then we're going to need a power pole. Wood is fine. Uh, we could just put this, like, here, I guess? I don't know if this matters. Because I think it'll automatically be doing this. Maybe it's a proximity thing, because okay, how much how much heatable space is this? Fifty-two. It's two hundred and nine. This one's two twenty-five. But it's also less constricted for airflow, so maybe airflow really matters too. Oh, downright nice in here though. In here though, it's still kind of suboptimal. Maybe I should move this. Let's just put it here. I was kind of hoping that it would work to get the rooms heated a little bit better, but I guess it doesn't matter. So it says they're going to also eat carcasses but it doesn't look like there's any carcasses for them to eat. I wonder if they would go after, like, my stuff that I have dried. I don't think I have anything dried, but... Yeah. Consumers! Nothing. Pretty sure. Producers. Nothing. Soon, it will not be nothing. Good job, Krista. Okay, got the trophy for electrifying. 20 fuel will last two days. Supplies 50 power. Okay, is this powered? Yeah, it is. So let's, uh... Set this up to do until, I don't know, five, I guess. Cool. Well, now we've got electricity. 
right in time for the end of the episode. How about that, guys? Right, well, anyway, that is going to do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. I think in the next episode, I'm going to make sure that uh, electronics are reprioritized. And, uh, yeah, we will make sure that those get produced, so that way we can start getting batteries, start getting blah, 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 so on and so forth. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye bye